TGIF, when ABC owned Friday Night Television. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's go back. Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Gen X Unfiltered. Today we're talking about TGIF, which uh, for those who don't know, was ABC's Friday Night lineup. But what does TGIF stand for? Well, I didn't know for the longest time. Really? Uh, thank God it's Friday. Or think, thank gosh. Thank goodness, I think might have been. Oh, yeah. oh thank goodness. Sorry. <laughs> they kept the, uh, kept the religion out of the thank lineup, goodness. I think. That actually thank is kind goodness. of... That's cuter, the thank goodness. Yeah. You know? Okay. Well, I guess it's more... Um, less risque. True. And that's right. I'd keep it... True. Uh, but I interrupted you there, but continue on. What was TGIF Friday? Well, TGIF Friday was an American primetime television. I'm taking this right from Wikipedia right now. Hey, you do this what you got to do. That's right. So it was an American primetime television programming block that aired on ABC at various points since the late 1980s. Really? That's yeah. it was on. Well, yeah, I guess late. Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I forget how old we are. So, yeah, I probably could have watched it then, too. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Back to your first question, to answer your first question, what yes. was TJF? Yes. So the name comes from the initials of the popular phrase, thank God is Friday. <gasps> it is God. However, the stars of the lineup touted is touted the meaning could be also, thank goodness it's Friday. Mm, okay. Thank goodness it's funny. Oh, shit. Thank goodness it's funny. <laughs> I really didn't read that very well. <laughs> thank goodness. I'm, I'm trying to straight with my eyes here. Thank goodness it's funny. Real life. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I like the thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's funny. Eh. Because the whole point was it was on Friday night. Well, I don't even I think they yeah. just refer to it as TGIF. I don't yeah. know if they ever. I just, yeah, I don't remember them saying TGIF. Thank goodness it's no. funny. It was yeah. just like TGIF. Exactly. Friday is on exactly. ABC. So this, I have. Um, and just one more thing. Oh, yeah. Before we go into this. Yeah. Just what kind of shows were they? They were mainly family friendly audience sitcoms. Mm, so you could sit down with the fam jam. You sit down with the fam jam and they led into the, uh, the news magazine 2020 every night. Ooh, I love that. I love yeah. it and love that. Show. It's still going strong. That's crazy. I, yeah. you know, I forgot what's been on that long. It is. Uh, but what I was going to say is I have no notes in front of me for this. So anything that comes out of my mouth is probably going to be wrong. Just going to stay <laughs> Well, yeah, he's going to tilt. He's going to tilt <laughs> the right. iPad your way so you can read. Um, but yeah, full disclosure. I just, you know, I'm going off memory here. Yeah, I yeah. remembered watching TGIF specific shows. Uh, it was a once we get through it, I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah that's right, that was a TGIF show. But uh, look, a lot of it's yeah. Look, just over, it, it was a big deal being like a preteen or like an early teen before you were like. Did you just knock our wall down? Yeah, I hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I really am a bull in a china shop today. I'm sorry. Um, before, you know, we were cool and went to parties. I never yeah. went to parties. No, but, no. Um, no, it was know, like, uh, yeah. It was the shiz. You waited all week. The but we shiz. were like, yeah, I remember, like, you know, early teens. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it was on since the late 80s, so, you yeah. know. Yeah. So if we look back at when it first aired, right, in 1989, okay. the block initially premiered, a little, okay. little history lesson, on September 22nd, 1989. Mm. Yep. Make, marking one of the first attempts by a major tele- television network to brand a programming block was um, it seven, with, with the goal of encouraging young viewers to watch the entire lineup instead of just a particular show. Ooh, mm, smart. smart. Was it 7 to 9? Was that the time? Or 8 to 10? I can't. Or 8 to 10. I can't remember. I don't have that in front of me, but I think okay. it, was eight to, it was 8 to 10, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It was like the prime time, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So then I'm going to take a look at the, the first shows. Okay, you do that, so, Eric. So are you ready? Let's see if we remember. Let's see if you remember these shows. Okay, okay so in the original run, the first season of TJF way back in 1989, Ooh. we had Perfect Strangers, mm-hmm. Loved Full it. House, Loved mm-hmm. it. Mr. Belvedere, Loved it. and Just the Ten of Us. I never watched Just the Ten of Us. I am totally blanking on I mean, what was Just the Ten of Us. Was that I like am, a, I'm not sure. Was that like a blended family type That's, deal? That sounds <gasps> like a, an eight is, eight is enough or like, like a uh, Brady Bunch. I think I remember it, but yeah, it was probably like a modern day blended blended family deal. You might be honest with something with Step by Step there. Like, wasn't Step by Step the same thing? Like yeah. a bunch of yeah, it was yeah. The blended families? Two families, yeah. yeah. That one I definitely don't remember. Everything else I definitely remember. I didn't realize Mr. Belvedere was a part of TGI, no. I have to be honest. No. But I, I don't remember watching it, but I don't remember being in, in the mix with those. I loved Mr. Belvedere, but yeah, I remember it not being part of TJF. I yeah. loved Full House. It's terrible now, but I loved it at the time. No, I was a kid. Yeah, it was great. And uh, what was the other one? Full House and uh, Perfect, Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. That was, Perfect Strangers was classic. Come on. on. Balky and Cousin Larry. Cousin Larry. Which is great. Can you sing the theme song? That was one of the best theme songs, oh, I think, no, for TV yeah. all time. Okay, let's go. I want to hear I'm, it. Do you want to sing it? Yeah, do it. Oh, I'm totally blanking on how it goes right now. I'll join um, in if I remember. I, I remember parts of it. It okay. started off with like, <laughs> oh my God. Did do it have it. like a harmonica? Yeah, it was like, wee, 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 w
Da, 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 da. That's right. Okay, Sometimes yeah. you just get a feeling like you need Stop. some kind of change, and there goes our sign. Oh, real life, guys. Well, the sign's staying down for the rest of the show. Yeah. So there, you saw it. Real life, it just <laughs> fell. Uh, we, we, need tax. Need, we need tax. Uh, but this for is for those of you watching on video, you just witnessed that happen. That's and, right. Uh, we have ghosts in the YouTube basement. Who are watching this on the video podcast? Yes, it's uh, it's real life here. We just keep rolling. Um, I guess that was a sign from cousin Larry to stop singing. That's right. It's like yeah. we're just gonna, this yeah. is going off the rails. Let's just. Interrupt us. Okay, so I did watch Perfect Strangers. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite. It, full House was where I was. The, I was there for the Full House. Yeah, that was where you yeah, were. Full House, full House was huge. And my pa- my parents were mean, though. Love you. But they were mean when we were little. And my mom fully admits it to this day. When we were young, like, she had our butts in bed as early as she could. So she could probably chill and watch TGIF by herself. Probably. So I don't really ever remember when I was very young like that, watching the 9 to 10 time slot. I was probably already in bed. Maybe that's why we don't remember the uh, ten of us. Yeah, Maybe probably that was like we we're in bed at that point. Yeah. Nine thirty, but yeah, my mom would just be like, "Go to bed," and she probably enjoyed TGIF on her own, eating her popcorn. She's waiting to roll into twenty twenty. Damn, yeah, yeah some she crazy did. True crime stuff. But, uh, All right, so season two. Hold on, something's gonna happen oh, here. Season two. I was just gonna ask. Are you, you ready? Yeah, go. So we we lost. Mr. Belvedere. Meh. So shout out to you for Mr. Belvedere. Guess, guess guess who showed up though? Let me take a guess. If this would be 1990? It's, yeah, the 89 90 season. So this is the first TGI season or no, the second one? The second. First was 89, 88, 89. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 90, what do you think came on? Because probably Family Matters. You got it. Yeah. Mr. Steve was, Urkel. Was it that old, eh? Yeah, yeah. Family Matters showed up in 1988, sorry, 1989 90. Oh, now, wow. Everything else in the lineup stayed the same. Yeah. Full House, um, Perfect Strangers, just the ten of us. Can we just talk about Family Matters for a moment? Because I watched it all the time. Full House and Family Matters. Like, I mm-hmm. watched those yeah. all the time. Um, I could not imagine going b- back and watching Family Matters now because I feel like it would be really annoying. Steve yeah. Urkel was the most annoying character okay. on the planet. Well, he was, I the, the, think he was supposed to be, like, a big character, though. Like, I, I don't know. think he was ever supposed to be a star. Um, but and that's yeah. fine. It, yeah. But he was, he was, was like a one-trick pony, but he yeah. ended up being the whole show. Yeah. Did yeah. I do that? that yeah, that. So Kimmy Gibbler who looked at that and was like, that should have been me. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be an annoying neighbor. Where's my show? <laughs> but briefly about Family Matters, I mean, I know this is controversy everywhere on the internet. You always see it, but remember little sister Judy? She went up the stairs on one episode and just never came back. That's right. That was always the big thing. Where that, did Judy the, the go? One daughter just yeah. Just disappeared. Just disappeared, yeah. No talk. Like, normally they explain it like, oh, she went to go live with somebody because whatever. No, literally no mention of Judy. Well, so, probably, I mean, to explain that an eight-year-old girl just disappearing, okay. it's probably but, just easier just to not acknowledge it than to I try mean, and come up with some weird, like, maybe. harebrained story. Because it's not like a soap yeah. opera where, like, I know. they fell down a well and 20 <laughs> years later just, they just come back. It's just funny. It's like, to yeah. this day, it's still a topic of conversation. But, like, Carl Winslow was a solid TV dad. He was the police officer, Reginald right? Reginald L. Johnson. The <laughs> man, the myth, the legend. That's the one. Great the mom, and, uh, did what? Harriet work? Die Hard. Uh, was yeah. she a teacher? Uh, I'm not sure. Or like worked in a school. So oh, I don't remember. Bit, a bit of trivia: she actually was um, on Perfect Strangers, and she was as a- she worked as the uh, the elevator oper- operator at the newspaper the the guys worked at. Oh. oh, really? Yeah. Now I'm not sure if that character was the same character that showed up in um, Family Matters. Yeah, or not? Yeah, it was a spin yeah. crossover. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I don't remember. The actress appeared in Perfect oh, Strangers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember. She was a strong mom. She was. Oh yeah. She, no, she no, no BS yeah. from her. No BS. Yeah. And she didn't have time for Steve Urkel's nonsense. No. What was no. his daughter's name? Laura? Laura Winslow, yeah. Laura Winslow, yeah. Eddie Winslow. Oh, my God. Why oh, that's I right. I forgot this? the older brother. The and older then, brother. Oh, Eddie. Then they had, the, had a good flat the top. aunt. I don't remember had, the aunt. Uh, yeah, I can't she remember. She was a sassy aunt. She, she owned, like, a restaurant. Yeah, and then she had a little coffee her, shop. Eventually, she had a kid. I don't think they were always remember. She had, like, the the younger boy. He's like four years no. old. He had the longer hair, yeah. Yeah, that was her kid, right? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't that. know if he was there the whole time or not, or if that was one of those when so, they, the show jumps a shark and they bring it in. Well, new yeah. Kid. <laughs> they got rid of Judy and brought in another kid anyway. Poor well, the, Judy. They didn't bring in that. I just don't remember. I the know. Time I think we can all agree with the show jumped the shark when Steve Urkel showed up on the scene. So Stefan, 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 Urkel. Stefan Urkel. Yeah, cool so hip Stefan. Yeah, exactly. Steve Urkel, yeah. Steve Urkel had his cool alter ego. I think that's what the show really, you know, if it didn't jump the shark from day one, that's what yeah. it really went over yeah. the top. Yeah. I yeah. mean, um, you know, I'm all about justice for Judy. So what happened after the next You need to season? let this thing go. I can't. It drives me crazy. <laughs> all right. All I right. didn't remember until you it, brought it up that it's my, there was the daughter that just oh, wait, disappeared. It's my Roman Empire. Where did Judy Winslow go? It keeps this me up is, at night. It's what keeps you up at night. Kelly's listening to sleep over this, but... 
Let's move on. Okay, so it seems like ABC's got a bit of a pattern here. Mm-hmm. They're trying to introduce a new show every season. Mm. So next season we have... Um, they dropped just the 10 of us, so sorry, just 10 of us. See you later. I didn't know And they introduced gro- Going Places. Nope. Ring no a idea. Bell? Going Places? No, it's not no. Ring a Bell at all. Otherwise, it was the same. It was Perfect Strangers, Family Matters, and Full House. They had a pretty solid threesome there with those yeah. shows. They lasted that, I think a while. That, like, early TJF, I think, was those three were mm-hmm. the mainstays. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to reintroduce other shows to see what what's what's going to hit, what's going to stick. That's usually how they try and do so that. So did that belong to us or whatever show you just said? Did going, that, going Places, oh, going, please? Going Places? Did I that, look it up on IMDb here. Did that last more than one season? Uh, I'll let you guess. Well, no, tell me. No. <laughs> not a shocker. I mean, no. I have no idea what that is. No. So uh, moving on to the next season. Yeah. The same thing. We're, we have uh, Family Matters. Oh, actually, there's a change here. A couple of changes. Big things. Family Matters is still here. Perfect Strangers is still here. Full House is gone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did full- they? Oh, I feel like they moved Full House to like Monday or something. Yeah, Full House moved to Tuesdays for a couple of years. They probably were. Mm. It was probably, they probably really, that show's big enough to they don't need stand the support. on its own. Yeah. yeah. So what so, was the lineup? Step by Step showed up. Oh, I used to love that intro with the whole like roller coaster, the like build up, and they'd be like, "Woo!" And then they did the like theme song. I don't remember that. Can you sing it for me? I don't know the. I had to sing for strangers for a minute. But I don't know the step by step song. Wasn't that like days go go by? by. Was that it? No, that's that's family matters. Family matters. Yeah. The days go by. Yeah, I can can picture the opening of steps like this, and then yeah, like on the wooden roller coaster. But yeah, I can't remember the song at all. All right. Uh, So then, well, actually, they. A second show. Okay. Baby Talk shows up. Literally never heard of Baby Talk. Ever. Baby so Talk? I did a little Googling and Baby Talk was actually a, um, was like a it's ba- based off of Look Who's Talking. I was going to say, oh. was it like a Look Who's Talking type the, thing? Yeah. So it's a baby with an adult voice talking in the voiceover. Oh, good luck. There's yeah. no way that made it past it's, it's one the, season. No. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in her monologue, yeah. Yeah. I that, feel that. like the 930 time slot was just never really hit because all the kids they were trying to target were in bed by then. Well, that's the thing. If you're trying to like, target like. 12, 10, 10, 11, 9 12 year old kids and some of that. 9 yeah. 30 is a little Can I just for some kids. Do a yeah. little side note. You were talking about the talk, look who's talking kind of yeah. thing. Um, we can have a whole episode about this, but just a little side note that popped in my head. Did your parents use look who's talking as a way to talk to you about, you know, sex education? Because mine did. Um, <laughs> my, grade, my, my grade three teacher did. Yeah, the opening um, with the whole yeah. like, sperm. Oh, plot. yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. Uh, my mom's like, watch this and ask me any questions. My grade three teacher played that opening scene for us for like, yeah. um, like health, cl- our health class, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But then she stopped right after, like, no, no, keep going. This is great. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's, I yeah. want to see the other part. There's the, movie, there's yeah. the whole beginning was the little sperm flying, swimming to the edge. Yeah, with that's, Bruce I, Willis's voice was the, uh, yeah, that's yeah, was the, yeah, he was, was the, the baby's the baby, inner, yeah. inner, uh, inner monologue. Yeah, they, they made a sequel to that. Oh, they made like they made, five. Like, yeah, they made a, Look Who's Talking. Look Who's Talking Now. Yeah. Look Who's what? Talking Now was animals. I mean, Look Who's Talking is a pretty. <laughs> I'm and shaking Joe my head. was there for all of them. So. Look, God bless him. Look, yeah. Look Who's Talking was a pretty sick movie. I kind of want to watch it again. It is. It's definitely something we know. But yeah, it just flashed in my head. My mom used that as a way to talk to me about sex education, how babies were made. Watch Look Who's Talking. It's built in. It's got all the, all the everything <laughs> ending here right here. Yeah. Anyway, we'll pivot back because that's yeah, a that's little bit of a little Anyways, so now we're on to the 1992-93 season. So this will be like our bread and, and butter for Yeah, yeah. You're going to know all these shows, I think. Ooh. So we got Family Matters is still here. Yes. Step by Step is still here. Yes. New show, uh, Dinosaurs. Oh, I hated oh, that show. Uh, what? With the baby and stuff like that? Yeah. I hated that show. Yeah. Yeah. And I, for some reason, I remember that being like on Sunday nights or something like that. No, that was, I remember I that being that, on TGIF. I remember that when it was a Fox show, but I definitely remember Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs what was the next and one? And Camp Wilder. No, never watched that. Never watched Camp Wilder. No. Again, it's the 930 to 10 slot. Dinosaurs, I think, was the epitome of a one-trick pony. It's yes. like, we're going to make the baby the star of the show. We're going to give him a catchphrase. What was the catchphrase? Not the mama. Like, I that don't... Was, that was his whole thing. Like That's right. He loved his mom, but his dad, like, he didn't, like, he didn't want anything to do with his dad. So he'd hit his dad over the head with a frying pan and say, not the mama. And that was like, ha ha, the first time. The hundredth time, not as funny. I don't think I ever watched a full episode of that. It just didn't really... Yeah. Speak to me. So I'm looking up here. So Camp Wilder, after her parents' death, a single mother moves back to her childhood home to be to become the legal guardian of her younger siblings. Nope. Starring Jerry O'Connell, Mary Page Keller, Jay Moore, Ooh, Hillary man. Swank, Literally. Tina Majorino. It doesn't even Jared sound. Jared Leto. Doesn't Jesus, even sound the, familiar. I don't recognize that no. at all. That cast went on to do a bunch of other things. I know. There's, oh, that's yeah. what I'm There's some big names in here. Thank you, IMDb, for that. But Jared Leto? 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 Hillary Swank? 
Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So uh, moving on to the 1993-94 season. Family Matters is still here, so going okay. strong. There. Going, going still strong. There. Um, new show, Boy Meets World. <gasps> Ooh, I have so many stories about Boy Meets World. Okay, well, we're going to pause. We'll come back to Boy Meets World. Don't That's worry. Fine. We'll go get, on. We're going to pause. Go uh, Step by Step is still here with yes. us. Yeah. Uh, we lost dinosaurs. Darn. But we got hanging with Mr. Cooper. Ooh. Oh, I remember that one, yeah. This yeah. what? Like, so I remember all those shows, so I clearly watched TJF. In this era. That's when you could stay up a little later. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you know, and I still, I was still young enough that I wasn't going to parties. At like 11 or 12 years old, you weren't going out to a party on Saturday, Friday nights. Steve, yeah. I'm trying to sound cool, okay? I watched TG, TGIF until like, you know, five years ago, okay? Well, okay, that's impossible. That's, anyways. I know. <laughs> but hold on. So let's go back to Boy Meets World because you had a bit you of a reaction there. Ever, yeah. Okay. Boy Meets World was really cool. I loved it. Um, and... Uh, no, I can't tell those stories because it's embarrassing because I was probably past its prime of watching it. But I had the biggest crush on the older brother. Will Ryder Fidel. Strong? Oh, Will Fidel. Oh, Will Ryder Fidel. Strong? I, I didn't really watch Boy Meets World. Ryder Strong was the, like, poor Ben Okay, Seth. can we just pause on Ryder Strong? One of the best, like, non-porn porn names of all time. That is yeah, true. Is. That is a very good, yeah. yeah. But I felt bad because poor little Ben Savage, like, he wasn't the heartthrob of that show. Like, not by... A long shot, like it was no. all Will Corey Friedel. Matthews. That was his name, right? Yeah, on the show? it was all Will Friedel and Ryder Strong who were in the Team Bot magazines. I don't think Ben Savage was in the Team. Oh, Bot I'm sure magazines. he was. But well, but he not was as more big like a the thing. goody goody kind of. And character. if you were an adult, young adolescent boy, you had the biggest crush on Topanga. I that's mean, that's always a, people argue the Topanga versus uh, Kelly Kapowski. You see that a lot on like, yeah, uh, on, like a, TikToks and memes and stuff like that. That's yeah. a good battle. Yeah. I mean, Kelly Kapowski was a little bit more like you know she's very preppy. Yeah, to, well, Topanga was a little bit. Yeah, I mean, whatever your preference. Well, depending on your age too. Like, yeah. say by the Bell, like they were high school. They were older. Whereas, yeah. like, this started when they, they were, were like, like grade six or I was something. Say yeah, like in public school, I think. But they? I loved, I loved the Matthews family. Then they had the younger sister, Mr. Feeney, Mr. Feeney, and then the dad and the mom. Um, and the parents always seemed so cool and hip that they, they had did. kind of longish hair. They did. <laughs> like did he play bass or somewhere? Band? He might. It looked like he did. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Will Friedle was kind of like the like you know the without being but kind of like the stoner older brother. He kind of reminded of like a Joey Lawrence like knockoff. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. From Blossom. But Speaking, of, I think that was a thing in the nineties. Like everyone had a catchphrase. Joey Lawrence had a catchphrase. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. Exactly. But I I love Boy Meets World. I had a few Team Beat posters of Will Friedle in my room. Back in the day, with magazines. So God, yeah, I forgot little, my sister had all those. Tigers and Tiger, Tiger Beach. Beach. He had yeah. the little like mushroom cut. And okay, I'm not gonna lie. Me and my friend were so obsessed one time. We went and bought all the Team Beat magazines, and we made actually like a collage on paper of Wilfred L. I mean, some people would say that that's stalker and creepy. It was just us expressing our well, love. For, my sister did that. She had. You know, I remember she had walls covered in new kids on the block and stuff yeah, like that. It's what teen girls did back then. And girls did you get a lock of his hair and like cast spells and stuff? Or? No. Okay. But you know, uh, we're, we're safe. Then we're safe. But you know what's sad is like. Kids, girls, boy, whoever, but like, you know, mostly girls, but like, they don't get to experience that now. They don't have team. I mean, they do, but I mean, they're not sitting at home cutting out pictures of their heads. And this sounds creepy. I'm going to say, even if you wanted to, though, it's not <laughs> so easy. Yeah, like, the, the magazines, it's that's a whole different. other topic, yeah. but it's just they're not around but really like, anymore. It was like a thing Saturday morning, go to the store, get the news magazine, go home with your friends, and you cut out all the pictures and make little hearts and like put it on Bristol board and hang it up, like put stickers on it. It was a thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I said my sister, had, I had posters in my wall, more like rock or sports posters and stuff like that, but, but no, I remember no, having, no, t- I remember having tons of posters. Anyway, no I... Else, uh, I mean, <laughs> Kelly Kopowski. Oh, although apparently, I haven't listened to it yet, but there is a uh, podcast that Danielle Fisher, and then who's she do it with, Ryder Strong or Will Friedle? I don't know which one, but the two of them do a podcast about Boy Mitch World. No, really? There's a lot of that. That's a big thing now, yeah. it seems like. A lot yeah. of these, I, I was watching the t- clips on TikTok, the the... The son and daughter from The Sopranos. Yeah, they do it. Not so Dude, much as it's, it's, no, no. it's not a Sopranos themed podcast. Because they've remained very close, so they're yeah. like brother and sister. They say all but the like time. they're yeah. like you know the Office ladies. Yeah, you know there's ones about why not Kirby enthusiasm. I saw one just pop up now. Okay, so but cool. I'm so, sorry, I got you off track. So no, dial no, back after Boys Meets Boy Meets World. That's fine. We went down the Boy Meets World path there. That's okay. okay. People okay. now think of me as a crazy stalker. That's okay. That's I can fine. Live with they that. get to know the real Kelly. This is this is a good thing. I can live with that. Okay, so I think ABC found a winning lineup here because that lineup yes. stays the same in 94, 95. Oh, yes, it was winning. <laughs> oh, yes, it was winning for sure. But wait, They I, finally cracked the code. The wait, sauce. Hold on, though. What, wait, wait, it's still going strong. Anyways, 
No, sing your piece. No, no, no. I was just going to say, before we get out of the the key, the perfect lineup, I think yeah. we have to have a quick little discussion about Step by Step. Patrick Duffy, Suzanne, who was Summers. it? Summers. Suzanne R. Summers, R.I.P. Miss, yeah, exactly. Um, we had, like, a Stacey Keegan on there. We had, uh, oh, the Oh, older that's right. The, the, she was the daughter with, like, the... Oh, uh, the original Hobie. The, yeah, oh, yeah, Hobie Brandon from Call. Uh, Baywatch, yeah. Brandon Call. Um, the little dorky kid with glasses. Um, I saw him recently on yeah. Instagram. Or it was like him now. I was like, he looks... The same? Uh, quite, like, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean you whatever. Know, not as, you know, yeah. But yeah, glasses and everything. I like, oh, my God. He kept the look. Oh, uh, not a fan of the, like, Cousin Cody. Mm. He was the other one. He was kind of like the stonery, yeah. goofy guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, do we need a Cousin Cody? No. And there was... Two daughters, right? Then there was the tomboy girl, Alex, I think. I can't remember. I know she's been in stuff, too. I yeah. just don't know her name. But there was one with dark hair, right? The dark hair one. Um, I can't. I've, she's been in stuff, but I can't remember her name either. Mm. But, yeah, there was a bunch of them. So, you know, it was a good show. There was always hijinks with the bonded, the blended families and yada, yada, yada. But Cousin, yeah. cousin Cody, I was like, eh. Uh, real question for you. Did any kids go missing, like, in Family Matters? Uh, no. Not that I remember. I mean, maybe. But I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay. It wasn't as big of a conspiracy as poor Justice for Judy. I don't know. Did we talk about Family Matters like the grandma? No. Remember the sassy the grandma. grandma? Oh, yes. Grandma. Grandma Winslow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. She was awesome. She told it like it was. Did she disappear, too? I think so. I don't. I think she was just like a bit part. Like yeah. She yeah, yeah I remember her being there, but it, it just you brought her up, so I was like, oh, did something weird happen there? No, yeah. no. I just had a flashback <laughs> to Grandma Winslow for some reason. <laughs> All right. So, step so by step. So, this lineup was like solid yeah. for a couple years. That lineup stayed the same until 96, 97. So, that was like wow. a key lineup for like three... Yeah, three years wow. right there, no change. Yeah. So, next change happened in 96, 97. Ooh. You ready for this? Oh, I'm sad. I feel like Perfect Strangers is gone. I feel like... Perfect uh, Strangers left a long time ago, my friend. Perfect Strangers is not oh. in this lineup. Okay, anyway, go on. Are you here? Uh, sort of. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about Will Friedle in my uh, posters, okay? <laughs> okay, you're off in that land. Okay, so 96, 97, we got Family Matters still. Ooh. But uh, big changes here. Sabrina the Teenage Witch shows up. Oh. Yes. Yeah. What, yeah, what was her name? Melissa Joan Hart. Hart. Yeah, 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 Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, and then Clueless. So based Never off the off the movie. Show, yeah. And then Boy Meets World is still with us. So you're still Ooh, you're still separate. But, but Boy Me- Boy Meets World moves to like the last time slot of the night. That's, oh, so that's, I'm guessing like it got spicy. It, no, or not that. The it was, it was popular. Really? Uh, it was probably popular to get people to watch stay right to the end. Oh, smart. I would yeah. think. Smart. I don't know. Did you say less yeah. popular? No, more popular. Oh. It was probably the most popular. Okay. So I think Steve's onto something. They probably book it, you know, bookend it with the yeah. two big shows, get people in, and then they stick, stick around, around to the end. So I think Steve's onto something. They started with Family Matters, ended with Boy Meets World. Yeah, so yeah. they probably took their two biggest shows and yep. now, sandwich Sabri- potential garbage in the middle. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I did watch that, like, not religiously or anything, but I did watch it. It had the talking cat. That's right. No, I and all that stuff. By that point, those shows you were I think out I of it? probably <laughs> Oh yeah. I, I was, did definitely didn't watch the Bring the Teenage yeah. Witch on that. I Same never here. watched so I think maybe by that point I and tapped out. My TGIF days were over. You were, you were out partying? You, you aged out from TGIF. Like, I'm out, ABC. <laughs> Peace. I never watched the Clueless TV show. I love the movie, but I never watched the TV show. Same with the movie Same and thing. stuff. I was. I remember it coming out and stuff like that. Oh my god! Not, uh, As if that was like the best movie ever. Oh, Alicia, Alicia Silverstone was like that, everywhere. That made her that, career, yeah. Like with all the, and yeah. then the Aerosmith videos and all this stuff. Like she was everywhere. Yeah. In like the 90s, Is that, was that the tagline in Clues? As if that's what they said. This As is, if. She she said, a lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, so okay, I feel like this was the beginning of the end for TGIF. Yeah, we're running. To, so the first run of TGIF ended in two thousand. Probably so when we're, we're at ninety. 96, 97, so, so we're getting towards the end now. Like, Family Matters and Boy Meets World is probably almost near their end. That's why. Oh, did you see this list already? No, I Because you're, you're guessing things now. I remember <laughs> things. I loved my TV. Okay, so 97, 98, you, like you said, Family Matters is no more. Yeah. It's gone. I mean, that's like almost, to the heart. It's like almost a 10-year run. Yeah. Yeah, no, so that's a good run for him. Instead, we have a Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, starting off. Mm-hmm. Boy Meets World is still here, so you're set. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you Wish was the, was the show? Nope. Never heard of that. Nope. And Teen Angel. No, never heard of that. Literally never heard of that. Never heard of Teen Angel. Okay. I thought maybe Teen Angel would be up your alley. I was just sticking around for Boy Meets World, apparently. No, by that point, I definitely was like, yeah, I think I was out. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're struggling towards the end here because now we got a bunch of new shows the next season. That's usually the sign that they're, or like some of those shows might have still been on, but they move them around or whatever. But yeah, they're definitely there. So kicking off in 98, 99, we have... Sorry, I just I hit the mic. Mic. <laughs> just scared me. I like got beat up by if my mic. If you're hungry, we can take a break. 
Anyways, so 1999, we have Two of a Kind. Nope. Don't know that one. No. Nope. Nope. Boy Meets World, still here. Yes. Still going strong. That still show was strong. on for a while. It was. Uh, Sabrina's still here. So I think Sabrina's kind of like one of the new shows that kept caught it's, on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Brothers Keeper. That sounds weird, but no, I never watched that. Is it? Yeah, was that with sure. like the Lawrence brothers or some of that? Oh, maybe. Where maybe. like the, the, old, where the oldest brother looks after the two other brothers? Yeah. I the, could be telling you wrong. Before, I, I'm just going to look it up on IMDb so I don't sound like an idiot. Yeah. It sounds familiar. It, it sounds so- very ABC. It sounds like one of those kind of shows. But yeah, so definitely I think at this point in time, really Sabrina's kind of taken over and mm-hmm. Boy Meets World are is still kicking around. Sabrina was very popular. That show, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, like it had a good run. You know, you said that just kind of like triggered a memory was like the talking cat. I'm like, I remember yeah. that in the commercials and stuff. Like, Yeah. What was his, was his name? Salem? I think so. I think so. The talking. And it was really shitty, like, like. It was, b- it was bad, bad comedy. Yeah. But, it was that, but I mean, the talking cat was really like, it literally <laughs> looked like a puppet it was talking. A- it was, it was one of those cats. I'm pretty sure it was a puppet when it yeah. had to talk. Otherwise, it was a real cat just on the set. Yeah, because when it was talking, it was just like, okay, can we at least pretend? I mean, I get it. It was the late 90s. They didn't have the technological yeah. advances as today. But that was still. sort of Melissa Joan Hart's era, right? Like late 90s? Is Because that- she had that movie. Uh, she was in crazy. a bunch of them. She was Ooh, a I bunch love of that movies. movie. No, she I can't even find this Brothers Keeper. Well, it, I think it was a Lawrence Brothers show, but. Okay. So what happened after that? So we're coming up to the last season of the first run of TJF here. Mm. Oh, no. All right. Are you guys ready? Mm hmm. Uh, the Hughleys? No. Yeah, oh, I've heard Hugh- of it. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. The Hughleys. Boy Meets World, so that made Still it to the end. Strong, yes. Eh? Sabrina Teenage Witch mm-hmm. and Odd Man Out. No. Nope. Don't that, know Odd Man Out. That, Don't know that again. one. God damn, that sounds familiar. I was, in, I, was, I, was, I was out. I mean, I was watching Boy Meets World, but then I'd be out with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with the shifty eyes yes. with my friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the end of the first run of TGIF. All right. A lot of ninety percent of those shows I don't remember. Oh geez, yeah, this has got to be it. A teenage boy lives with his mother, aunt, and three sisters, ham- handling the struggles of everyday life. No, didn't. Oh man, I don't remember no. any of the names on this show. I mean, I feel really. Oh, well, I had Marky Post. <laughs> oh, I know Marky Post I from feel, uh, Night Court. R.I.P. Yeah. Didn't she die too? Yeah, yeah. she passed away. I am um, last year, maybe. I definitely the era of the step by step Boy Meets World. Uh, I already forgot what other ones were in there. We never talked about Hang with Mr. Cooper. I did watch that no, show. I watched. I actually really liked Hang with Mr. I Cooper. Did too. Was the guy, Mark Robinson? Was I that think his name? it was. The, and the wasn't the star of the show the girl? Was it Vanessa Williams or no? Who was the girl in it? I can't remember. I could be getting confused. With yeah, but I definitely remember. I really liked sure. Mr. Hang with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, I remember that being a really good show. I remember being funny. Yeah, yeah. But it was that good. was definitely like sort of the 95, 96 era. That's kind yeah. of the peak. But I definitely like even the earlier ones. Like. I loved Mr. Belvedere. I, like I said, I didn't realize Mr. Belvedere was on. Yeah, BBC just, just at all. the first season. Yeah, yeah, I totally didn't realize that. But that, I no. loved Mr. Belvedere. That was a, I always loved that show. Mm-hmm. That's another one with a great theme song. We we're talking about Mr. Yeah. Perfect Strangers. Theme I can't song. sing it, but it's like it was a piano music, right? It was like it was like sort of like weird, like old timey. It was like ragtime yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, life is more than your survival. Just mind to have the good times yet. Do do do. You know what's hilarious? That theme song was in um. Always sitting in Philadelphia. Well, they made like a fake version of it. Where she did the, um, oh, why am I blanking on her name right now? Yeah, I don't know. The girl on Always Sunny, she dressed up like a man to pretend to be like a British butler for her family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was great. it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. focus Anyways. back. Focus oh yeah, back. Sorry. We're, we're back ABC, in the nineties. We're back ABC. in the nineties. So uh, just really quickly from Wikipedia, you guys hit on a bunch of key points here about yes. why TJF ended in two thousand. Okay, but. Uh, however, ratings began to decline during the later half of the decade, due partly to Fridays becoming uh, more common for social outings among the segments. See, among segments of the block's key demographic. Yeah, yeah. Eric yeah. has trouble reading and talking. As well as I'm talking right now. Thanks for <laughs> calling kidding. out on yeah. camera, everyone. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, because I thought he was going to make fun of himself, because he always does. He's like, I can't read. I can read. <laughs> can't go. Well, you can. Let me do his thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'm in my um, joking era. So that ties into what you guys were saying, yeah. basically. Like, you know, you were kind of aging out from this. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I was, like, way too cool to be watching TV at home on Friday night. Well, that's yeah. probably why they start throwing in the new show, <laughs> seeing if they can get some fresh blood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, like, ABC did try to do a reboot in 2003. Ooh, what shows were on that? I probably still watched it. Not gonna I wonder, lie. yeah. Okay. Uh, 2003, this is the second run of TJF. They had George Lopez. I yeah, heard of re- it. I remember George Lopez. Never yeah, watched the comedian, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Married to the Kellys? Nope. No. Hope and Faith. I've heard of it. That had um, uh, there's two. Kelly from Regis and Kelly was on that. And it had the, Kelly Ripa. Kelly Ripa. the Murphy Brown chick on it. 
The, uh, Candace Bergen? No, 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 no. The younger one, the blonde one. What was her name? <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, can't remember her name, but she was on Murphy Brown, I think. But yeah, I remember no, that. No, that's... No, I don't remember those shows, but I definitely wasn't yeah. watching at that point. Me either. Uh, Life with Bonnie. With was it Bonnie Hunt, right? Bonnie Hunt. Was that's, yeah. that, that I sounds think, like yeah. a... I think you're onto something there. I think that was I it. didn't watch those. No, those were definitely... It was, no, I don't think I was the target audience for those. All How right. long did this run, like this era last of this ABC? This era lasted for two seasons. That was it. Oh, shit. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. La- the last season of the second run of so, TJF. Eight Simple Rules. Ooh, but that show was huge. That was a big show, yeah. Yeah. That show was big because um, it even lasted after uh, John Ritter passed. Because he died, yeah. I think it was in like the first or second season. Like it was he, early. It yeah, was that early. Was super yeah, it was. Uh, and then Complete Savages. That just sounds savage. Doesn't nope. right now, but yeah. Hope and Faith is still with us. Okay. Oh. We lost Life with Bonnie, and they traded it for a show called Less Than Perfect. No, never heard of that. No. No, me either. No. Don't I, that one. And that's the end of the second run of DJF. Did they come back for a third run? Uh, you better believe it. <gasps> so they, they did they try it a third time, eh? They, they did third, not. They thought, they thought a third time would be the charm, they, so. But at this point in time, I feel like, okay, quickly, what year was the, the, the first, the third time start? 2012. 2012 okay. to 2013. Oh, so they waited like... But at that point in the time, two years between them. At yeah, that was a point big stretch there. in time, there was a lot more like, um, like, like. Well, I don't know, was streaming around then. Not, I guess not, not really. really. That at was that point, time. Netflix was still through the mail for a lot of folks. Uh, okay. Yeah, that okay. might have been maybe maybe Torrents, but 2013 yeah. I think was still okay. too so early for they tried. stuff yeah. like there that. There was some Netflix, I think. What, then what was in this era? Are you ready for it? Yes. Yeah. Last man standing, huh? Huh? No. Who that, likes Tim Allen? That was, that was Tim oh. Allen, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was Tim Allen's, I think, uh, comeback attempt to TV. Yeah, that's okay. right. That was kind of his... Uh, uh, Malibu Country. No, I feel like I should have watched that, though. And Shark Tank. Shark well, no, Tank, really? They, Shark Tank was a good show. They I like only Shark had Tank. three well, shows? Well, Shark Tank was an hour. Oh. Yeah, Shark Tank. That yeah. was the Shark Tank was good. Spinoff of the Canadian series Dragons Den. Right? Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. Shark Tank was good, but I mean that's weak Friday night lineup. Well, that's yeah, like, that, that, that's a whole different demographic now. I think that's not so much like, it's like our parents. No, Shark Tank. Yeah. You're definitely not looking for. I no. don't know many twelve year olds wanting to watch no, a show no. that aspiring entrepreneurs yeah. getting ragged on by billionaires. Exactly. <laughs> I think Tim Allen, like Last Man Standing, was more towards the, 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 the middle age. They were yeah. probably going for like yeah, yeah our yeah parents. You know. So yeah. how long did this? Third attempt last. You got three seasons here. Oh. Three seasons. Okay. La- longer than the second yeah. stretch. Did the same shows the entire time, or did they switch out? Uh, No. So Last Man Standing lasted, well, the whole run, actually. That's surprising. Mm. But uh, we got Happy Endings. Mm, Ooh, that's I a think weird, I saw that movie. That's a weird <laughs> name for a show. Not going to lie. Awkward. Last, last Man Standing, uh, The Neighbors, and Shark Tank. No, only mm. no Shark Tank. Don't know the neighbors. No. The neighbors, no. It doesn't yeah. ring a bell at all. So then last season, we lose Happy Endings. Happy Endings was just for the spring portion of the season. Actually, it did less than a half season. Oh, dear. <laughs> so it was literally a half season. It was a happy ending. One and, done. One and, done. and we got uh, Last Man Standing still with us in the final season. Tim okay. Allen, yeah. Christella? No. Christella? Chris, Christella is the name of the show. No. And then Shark Tank. Yeah. All no, right. definitely well, by that point, no. I mean. But again, leads the, it, all, it all leads to the same road, 2020. Yeah. 2020, it's still all on. Leads, uh, all leads to the same 2020 is still on oh now. My God, I, think I this love time. 2020. But anyways, that was the third run of uh, TJF. So um, I don't think it had many, many memorable shows in there. Like, I, well, I, they should be based on the timeline. They should be getting ready for a fourth kick in the can <laughs> anytime. Now. I think we can all agree. Well, now they won't because there's too much streaming. No, stuff. I know, I know. But I think we can all agree that our era of TGIF for those couple of years was like peak. Oh yeah, that yeah. Mid, that mid nineties era there. Yeah. Well, those are big shows. Like. Yeah. So ABC, you can thank all the young Gen Xers or. No, are we? Or ABC, ABC is like you can thank us for uh, the elder, elder, elder millennials, elder and millennials, young Gen Xers. and young yeah. Gen Xers for keeping your shiz up because yeah. that was all us. Just saying, we watched it. We gave you the ratings. That's I think right. Kelly's looking for some recognition yeah, there. Sure ABC, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what she wants. I know. I'm just saying it's funny. Okay, because so that was definitely your favorite lineup then out oh, of all those. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't even know half the other shows. No, no, definitely like yeah, the late. From the very beginning to like the halfway point, yeah, it was around yeah. 93, 94. Once, once Sabrina shows up in ninety six, yeah. ninety six, that was kind of like at that point. I was yeah. like, I remember Sabrina the Teenage Witch being like, I remember that being a show and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, I st- not, I, yeah, I stuck around. I don't, think, well, I don't think it was really the target. The target. Audience I stuck for around yeah. probably till Boy Meets World was over. Not gonna lie. Did you watch the final episode of Boy Meets World? Yeah, didn't they? Did like, he meet the world? 
No. Oh, he blew it, it up. Yeah, he blew it up. It was like a pretty con- not okay, not controversial, but for like what started out as like a show about like twelve year olds, like it ended where like you know, Didn't, like uh, the writer strong character get addicted to drugs or something. Yeah, like it got all dark when they went to college and stuff. And, like, oh, the, the college years. The college years. Dark. Yeah, and I think Corey and Topanga. Like I don't remember correctly, but I think there was like maybe an uh, unmarried pregnancy in there. I don't know. There was something or a pregnancy, and then they got married, or they got married and got pregnant. I don't know, but there was some like it was the thing. Yeah. Whoa. They tried to they try to go a little more to grassy, a little more they like little hard hitting, not so much yeah. the sitcom side, more like the yeah, yeah, like a more of a dramedy. Yeah. So if I had to ask you what your favorite show was out of the whole lineup, I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, I mean, definitely, I would say I have to say Boy Meets World is probably the one I definitely watch. Family Matters, I watched, but now thinking back, I'm like, oof, it's probably it just wasn't my thing. I don't think, but I watched it. Definitely, Boy Meets World, I'd say is probably and step. I used to really like Step by Step. Okay. Favorite show? Yeah. Oh God, that's tough. Um, out of all of the ones on there, Last Man Standing, it's up there. Maybe uh-huh. I'm gonna go for Hope and Faith. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, probably Perfect Strangers. Yeah, no, maybe Full House. But that was only like one season. Yeah, but it, it was, was on, it was on there. way longer than True. yeah there. But, but in terms of the, yeah, like Full House would have been a big one. I did like Full House. Um, Mr. Belvedere as well. Everything from like the early seasons, really. Family Matters, I. Watch, but that's on the and thing. Off. Like, I wouldn't. I think I would really cringe to watch it again. Well, I think most. I mean, go watch yeah. the whole house episode right now. It's like, what but the? I would cringe because it's like old and outdated. Well, but I would just, still be like, oh yeah, that's nostalgic. But feeling matters. I just feel like, eh. like the Steve Urkel character was not my thing. Poor no, s- <laughs> poor Steve Jaleel Urkel. White. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ragging on poor Jaleel White. <laughs> no, Jaleel White. Got me cheese. Jaleel White is totally fine. Just the character was just much. Like, how much can we like just stereotype this nerdy Remember in love with the cool B. girl? Remember Arthur doing the Urkel dance and like the like the Emmys or something like that with, no. Steph- with Steve with Jaleel White. That was no. that was a peak television. Was, my friend. I you forgot can find the, it on YouTube. Go check it out. I forgot there was an Urkel dance. That's right, B. Arthur was, did the, it with him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the Urkel dance. The two titans of comedy TV, yeah. different generations coming together as one. Think of the P.B. Herman dance, but like worse. Do you think that I know what the P.B. Herman? I've never watched P.B. Herman. Remember he did a little dance on the table with the black shoes? Yeah. And first of all, can we talk about why did Steve Urkel literally wear the same clothes every episode? Like, couldn't you find other nerds? He was like a Steve Jobs or some of that. He just he had no time. He just wear the same clothes every day. It's He's ahead of his time. One less decision to make but every like day. He's wear, a genius. Wear a different shirt. Like you can still look dress at, like look a nerd. Like Steve Jobs always wore like a black turtleneck and jeans. Yeah, whatever. These guys, yeah. They say you only get so many good decisions in the day. You're I, not going to waste it on your outfit. I yeah. think I've decided that Family Matters is my Roman Empire. The whole entire He's show. Certainly like the. Praise yeah. it, shit on it. You're all over the place with the I'm show. It's, it's, yeah, I can't tell if you like it or hate it. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if I like it or hate it. Something like, about that show hurt you. You're so hung up. <laughs> I think it's the Judy thing. Judy. Like you just can't get over it. She it's, left. I've abandonment issues. It just issues. your whole view on the show. Like you're all over the place. I have abandonment <laughs> issues because Judy left and never said goodbye. You like you worry? watched it for oh eight years. Oh my god. <laughs> you worried you'd be Judy. One yeah. day you'd walk upstairs and never come back. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Oh my God! Yeah. We unlocked the, the key. Say, yeah. The key to Kelly's uh, maybe anxieties. Maybe, or maybe you were hoping one of your siblings would do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, not gonna lie. I wouldn't care if she worked upstairs and came back. Um, Eric, I have a question for yeah. you though, because I'm not sure. But did you give us a quiz this time? No. Oh. And we never even asked Eric though. What was yeah, his? I'm we never asked Eric what his Nobody favorite show was of this season. Favorite. Well, since I'm Just technically co-hosting this one, I'm gonna, say, yeah, I'm gonna tell yeah, you what my favorite show. one was. Okay, Eric, hold on. Let me properly like segue into this, Eric. What was your favorite TGIF show? Well, Kelly, my favorite TGIF show was uh, Perfect Strangers. Of course it was. What do you mean, of course it was? Wait, hold on. When we took a quick, like, uh, break to, like, restart the camera. Well, not a break. Like, two yeah. seconds to restart the camera. Eric was belting out the Perfect Strangers song. So I need him to belt it out again so we this can actually This was one of the it. best theme songs of all time. Okay. It was a great theme Go song. Ahead. Yeah. The so people the, want the, to the hear the it. Co- I started off singing, like, the verse. I'll sing the chorus okay, now for the it. people out there. <laughs> Get ready for this. This is what you the guys want to hear. Do you need like a little pitch to pipe? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll join no, in. No, but it was like ready. Yeah. Okay. Go. It's like, standing tall, tall on the wings, wings of my dreams. dreams. That's, yeah. Rise and fall on the wings of my dreams. Rain and thunder, wind and haze <laughs> are bound for better days. Background singers. Oh, it's my, oh, here we go. It's my <laughs> life, my dream. Nothing gonna stop me now. Okay, I'm not harmonica. Oh, That's right. Da, 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 I'm not gonna lie though. Yeah. that is very inspirational. That's what I, I know, mean. No, it's very inspirational. We had and it told the whole backstory in the opening, like cousin yeah. Balky leaving. Uh, 
Bartakamus? Yeah, no, that was oh. his name, though, isn't it? Balky Bartakamus? Oh, yeah, you're right. That's his last name. But I'm trying to remember where he, but he left, uh, oh, my Meepos. God. Meepos. Meepos. Remember, yeah. he's on the back of the truck, the whole family's there, and you see Cousin Larry, and they meet up together. So yeah, like exactly. The, the whole opening of, the whole premise of the TV show was explained in that opening. I... Exactly. The song is 80s cheese, but it's too purely inspirational. It's, it's and very as hell. inspirational. I mean, yeah. name the two actors? Yes, I can. Bronson Pinchot was definitely... Yeah, no, Martin I Pinchot. Can. I don't know. But does anyone? I, Mark, Cousin Larry? I think it was Mark something. Mark like Applegate or Apple Yard Mark Appleton? Something like that. I think it was Mark Apple, Applegate. He had curly hair. Yeah. I just yeah. don't remember his name at all. But those two were hilarious. Were they? I think yeah. I need to rewatch Perfect Strangers. I mean, I watched good. it, but I don't remember like yeah. much about no, it. I, I, love Wiki- I love Perfect Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I love Wikipedia. Perfect, yeah, I, I love Perfect yeah. Strangers. Like I said, all those shows, like Mr. Belvedere or two. Yeah. yeah. Those shows were great. Like that, Bob Euchre. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Bob Euchre. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are great shows. <laughs> I don't but know. But Perfect Strangers was the anchor to it was. TJF. That's what it's, according to Wikipedia, anyways, that was the show that they built the uh, the schedule around for yeah. the first season. Okay. So, can I just go back to anybody remember the Step by Step theme song? Because I feel like as soon as you hear when it, you say Step by it. Step, I just think of uh, New Kids. Yeah, right. I think the same yeah. thing. New Kids on the, yeah, the New Kids on the Block. Stressing me out because I know it and I, like, was there words? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't have to Google it yeah. later. Anyway, so there's no quiz. But no, so I think we've blessed the people with my singing voice for long enough here, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not going to sing anything else. <laughs> okay. But maybe just to close out. Okay. Um, if TJF came back, would you watch it again? Honestly, no, because I don't watch real TV anymore. I just stream. I've got time for like sit down at eight o'clock and watch TV. Good point. So yeah. I mean, I might, I might. Stream, I, streaming kind of kills like the whole having a Friday night like lineup on yeah, TV, right? Yeah, like I might watch the shows if they were part of the lineup, but I wouldn't sit down on a Friday to watch them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just sort of what it is. But I mean, again, like speaking of this stuff, like it's kind of sad because as we're talking, I'm thinking of all these things like being like 10, 11, 12 years old, and like it was a big deal on Friday. I don't know if you night. remember, but like in TJF, they also had like the like the actors in between shows yeah. doing like little like PSA PSAs and like That's right, intros yeah. to the, the, to the yeah. upcoming show and it was stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And even sometimes you get the, the cross. Crossovers where like someone yep. from one episode, one show would show up on another ep- show. So yeah. you have like a little crossover episode. Yeah. Like that. Was, Not very often, but you know, you had all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah. It was awesome because like I said, like I would always have popcorn or like, you know, just like, popcorn we, and diet and Coke. Yeah. It's always your. It was my thing. Okay. <laughs> I know it was my thing. You're consistent. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit, but um, yeah, hopefully that was fun for you guys to kind of read. Oh, t- t- I was going to say Kelly's done talking. Kelly, so the show's no, over. <laughs> Eric just said like to wrap it up. So I thought he was done talking. Well, no, but I'm, I'm I'm asking, I'm asking everyone their opinion. I think you just, wanted uh, everyone's opinion. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I'm, yeah. In, I'm in my selfish era right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's where we are <laughs> right now. That's Kelly's life. <laughs> <laughs> so no. I'm going to ask Kelly to take a pause. Okay. Take Can I just say breath? one thing, though? Oh, because I don't want people to really think that I'm a selfish. I'm not. I just, my brain gets a very, like, and then I just can't remember. But, Steve, go ahead. Um... As he just showed me the timer. I'm showing the timer because we're going to have to stop the camera again. It's like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I would watch it if it was like re- if they did like reboots of all the old shows. Ooh. Maybe I would watch it. Like it, mm. I know they did a Full House reboot, but maybe they did like a step by step, or yeah. uh, you know, if they did like a a TGIF of those old shows <gasps> rebooted with like new uh, the old cast and stuff like that. Okay, maybe I would watch that. Yeah, but if they just brought back a TGIF shows? with all new shows. Probably not going to watch it because yeah. I'm going to guess they're going to be geared to like 12 year old kids. <laughs> yeah. So probably not going to be something I want to watch, but maybe yeah. it was geared towards us where it was like, I said, you take like the Full House reboot, you make That'd a step by awesome. step reboot, a Perfect Strangers reboot. Yeah. And did a TGIF sort of like that. Yeah. I'd probably watch that. I just think that like no network is going to invest in that anymore because no. they, they have streaming. Like, well, they, they, yeah. they might matter. put it up as like a streaming thing. Yeah, but have, they're but. not going to have a whole like. They're not going to build shows around a time slot. I don't think time slots mean anything anymore. No. Not, no. No. So, I mean, whatever. It's just, sorry. Yeah. But now can I wrap it up? No, I have to answer. I was going to say, yeah. Oh, shit. Kind of it. <laughs> we really are in Kelly's selfish era right <laughs> no, now. No, it's not that my brain's just like, now I'm I'm, yeah. I'm focused on the time. So I'm like, oh, no, we got to hurry. Okay, go. <laughs> so, so, yeah, real quick. Um, I would say if ABC could make it like a big event again. Maybe I would watch. Yeah, where they had like tie-ins between like the shows and stuff, like all those things they did back in the day to make it more of an event, not just like here's four shows on a Friday, but here's like it's a, it's an event. Like come sit down and watch, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, th- I think maybe I would, and um, but it's hard though because streaming is so convenient. I yeah, yeah. I have to so say that have to be some really compelling too. Exactly, they have to make it really exciting, a real compelling event to go sit down and watch. I don't have to get cable again. I think <laughs> yeah, no. that's true. Problem number one, I don't have cable anymore. But that's, really, that's maybe that's it. Find a way to stream TJF. 
But really, yeah. maybe that's really the quickly though, I think Steve said it most. Like I would definitely probably carve out my Friday nights if they brought it back with the nostalgia factor for that's, us yeah. who made TGIF Friday what it was, right? So yeah. I think if yeah. Will Freddy comes back, Kelly will watch. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> will for now. You're hired. <laughs> yeah. But no, but I think that that would, because I, I mean, let's be real. I watched the full house review. That's what I'm saying. Nostalgia. It was the terrible. The other thing I would watch it, but if it came back, yeah. it's something that new. No, Sorry I'd for calling him no Will Freddy. <laughs> you did say Will Freddy, didn't I you? Said, I, I thought you did. Yeah, Will Freddy. I never watched the show. <laughs> really? No. You've never watched Boy Meets World? What's I've seen, wrong I've seen with you? I've a couple episodes. It's like the greatest love story of preteens. What's wrong That's with you? That's probably why I never watched it. <laughs> uh, Zach and Kelly, come on. Yeah, hey. Well, true. Nobody well. can beat that. That's a whole other topic. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, I, I could talk all day about yeah, Zach NBC, and Kelly. Yeah. Saturday mornings, good stuff. All right, guys, but I think that's officially it for that's this. It. That's I think it. we've covered it all, yes. Yes, but comment below. Let us know what you think if you watched any of the shows, what your favorite show was, yada, yada, yada. But Seinfeld reference. Is that a Seinfeld reference? It is. And I didn't even watch the show. That's well, for we'll another episode. We'll talk about episode. that in another episode. Yeah. But we thank you guys so very much for watching and listening for another one of our podcasts. We have a lot of fun doing this. And I guess until next time, we will see you guys, guys in the next later. one. See you next one, everybody. Don't forget, guys, you can check us out every major platform where you get your podcast. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye.